Hello guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be teaching us how to design a professional flyer and today is going to be a, a flyer on a skin care. You know some of these flyers about creams and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be designing. Now let me say this before I proceed. I said I the way I design is that I imagine the end of the design even before I begin. Or if I begin, I begin to imagine how the design is going to look like in the end, right? So have that at the back of your mind that even at this time i've already started imagining how i want my design to be so you should learn to do so as well learn to imagine the end of your design even before um before you 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 begin your design or when you begin and even in the process just ensure you're exploring your imagination now this is the design this is the picture i'm going to use for uh my design got it for pinterest and this is the background i want to use i also got it from pinterest so have that at the back of your mind. Now this is what I want to do. My background is not too sharp, but I want to blow it more a little with um, photo editor before I even begin the design. So that's the first thing. So I have this background from Pinterest, but for some of you that may not know how to get it, or don't understand what Pinterest is, this Pinterest is a platform for getting backgrounds or images. I'm using the app, not the website. So click on the Pinterest like this. I've searched for this before now. So you're going to search, um, milk or let's say cream creamy creamy background creamy or cream colored background and let me say this about colors colors are part of concept as far as graphic design is concerned the reason is because colors are one of the things that first passes a message about what a flyer is for instance if i'm designing a flyer about agriculture what colors do you think or what basic color do you think should be on that flyer green right and after green colors like yellow so have that at the back of your mind same thing as um designing a, a christmas flyer have you seen a christmas flyer having black and um let's say black and ash color that of as far as it's Christmas, the two basic colors there should be white and black. Before that, colors like green and then sorry, it should be red and black, not white and black. Before that, colors like green and then let's say blue and yellow. So have that at the back of your mind that colors have something to say. So as I'm designing a flyer on skincare or about a cream, that's why I need a color that has to do with that design. So it's that brown, milk, white, you understand? So that's why I'm looking for a creamy background or a milk colored background. So this Pinterest, I searched it, this is what it brought up. So I'll click on this and I'll keep searching till I get the background that I want. So this is one of the backgrounds there. I think I love this. Let me download this. But I already have a background I'm going to use, but I just want to show us that this is how I got the one I, I, I want to use. So there are other backgrounds here. But just in case you have a background that looks very close to what you want, for instance, this one looks very close to that one I have that I, I want to use. What you do is that this icon here, you click on it, and it's going to create something like, like a rectangle around it to help search similar images. And if you are not seeing this icon, for instance, that search icon, for instance, as it is now, you're not seeing what you do is that drag like this to shows. So as you can see, it's now showing here. So you can click on it now and then to search similar images. Good. So these are similar images as you can see this, sorry. As you can see, there's one here, there's one here. And um, good, this is the one I, I'm, I'm, I, I downloaded, I want to use, right? So this, and most times after finding your design in a particular account, just make sure you follow, sorry. Make sure you follow this, follow the account so that you'll be able to see the person's other um, uh, images because since you you like or found value in one of them you might find value or want some others so it's why you follow okay so we've shown how we got that and even the even that image what i searched for was i just said skincare lady i just said skin care lady so i searched for it and they brought up this stuff so i now screwed search search till i was able to get some um, I was able to get one let's see if we might even get one better than the one i just searched for mm. uh, this design and um, designs like this usually their background is difficult to, to remove uh, you see the way the white and the backgrounds are almost the same even in saturation that's one problem with some kind of uh, images so 
I think I love this. Let's download this too, even though I already have the one I want to use. And then let's just keep searching and scrolling down. If you see one better than the one we are, we are having now, we'll, have, we'll go for it. So this looks nice. Let's see, download it as well. And um, let me use the search icon to have similar ones like this. Oops, 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 no. These are not the kind of images I'm looking for. Skin care. Ladies, this is what's... Um, it's all right, so now let's go to my, let me put off my data. Let me go to Pixel Lab. So this is Pixel Lab, open it up. I don't want my design to be a perfect square, so I'm gonna give it more height. So it's not a perfect square. So I'll click on my background, click on image size, click on height, and I think I should make it 1400, that's 1400. Click on my back, click on okay. So I think this is nice. Uh, now I'll click on my background interface, click on from gallery, and then import. So this was the one I wanted using, right? And um, this is the one I downloaded of recent. I'm even thinking of which one should I use. Uh, this looks nice too. This looks really cool. And then this one I want to use before. I just thought to show us on this. The both of them look nice. So what we'll do is that let me go and blow them because they're not looking really sharp. When you find an image that's not really sharp, don't go and sharpen it with Snapseed. If you sharpen it, it'll look more rough. I usually advise or I would say you just make it blow. When you make an image, a background blow, it tends to look more beautiful than you just sharpening it the more with slight with snapseed. So let's use photo editor to <clears throat> to blow it. So click on gallery. So these are the okay, this is my photo image. I pinned. So this is the one I want to use, right? So let me begin with it. So I'll click on effects, scroll down, find blow. Where is a blow, 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 blow. Good, this blow. So click on it and then this blow is too much. I'm checking it here, right? So let's say something like this. Click on check mark at the top. Click on save at the top. Click on gallery here and there's no saved. And let's go back and go find this one that I just downloaded. Click on effect again. Screw and find blow and then um, increase the blow to let's say this and click the check mark click on download download button click gallery and just save now let's go back to pixel good so these are the two the photo so this is the first the photo editor gave us and then this is the second the photo editor gave us All right so which of them are we using i think let's use this Let's use this. So um, these are image I want to use in the design. Let's just see them. So I'm thinking which of them should I use? Is it this or this or this? You know what? How about this? I think I should use this. So. I'm gonna edit it because this image is kind of not sharp at all. I use an app called Pigma. So first of all, enhance it. If an AI photo enhancer app called Pigma, I will enhance it with that, and then I would uh, still edit it with the right from here. So let be, let's begin with the Pigma. This Pigma. So I was editing this even before now. So this enhance and let's go find it. So this, this is the image, right? Select it. Let me even say this. Let me go back. Let me go. Back. This, P, this is the first interface, I believe. This is the enhanced pro. You need to pay before you use it. So I, I, I think if, if it's the first time you're using the app, you have to you you have a free slot, a single free slot for the enhanced pro. And then the other things that can be done with the app, we have AI Razor, we have Color Master, we have Restore, we have Colorize, we have um, other stuff. But we just need Enhance. The Enhance is good enough for me. If it's going to be the same for you. So we'll click on the Enhance and then we'll go find an image. And this is the one we want to use right here. So what we'll do is that we are going to select it and 
it says continue and below the continue is what watch ads that's so you're gonna watch ads before you be able to enhance it so we'll click on it and we'll expect we'll be we'll be expecting ads to pop up for you to watch it before we'll be able to enhance so we'll click on it and this an ad we are gonna wait for i think this is about 10 seconds sometimes it's 30 seconds i think and i think some other times it's 15 seconds you're about just as the case may be so just five seconds more for okay already enhanced so this counter sign reward granted you click on it wow okay still you still uploading now this is unusual since something went wrong since something went wrong let me see oh my data is off my data is off so let's just let's just go back let's go back pick my uses data so let's pick my again we'll select the same image click on the console at the top left click on enhance this is our image we want to use here click on it continue watch ads put your face on any video I think it's 25 and 30 seconds. If you have money, you can pay for the pro so you don't have to watch ads before you use the app. Instagram so in 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Install it now. Good. So now we'll click on the X, the reward granted. Wow, so this is the before and this is the now. So you really appreciate this app, right? So see how clean this image is. The next thing is that we're going to save. The other things that you might want to do here, like still touch the image, but this is enough for me with my Pigma. So you save, click here. And we might still have to watch ads, or maybe sometimes we wouldn't watch. So let's see, maybe or not. Okay, you're still watching ads again. But this time, I think it's just five seconds. So I think it's done. Click skip video, click cancel. And this is our result. Now still before we import it into... As in, remove the background, import it into pieces of lab. There's an app called Lightroom that I used to edit before I still go to um, what's it called? Pixel Lab. So we'll click on photos on device and then um, click on this. This here, my that's my pick my images. So I'm here for two things. So sorry for one thing. I'm having my background in mind, this particular background, right? I'm having it in mind. So I'm trying to ensure that this lady's picture is is blends with it even if it doesn't blend but at least it should match it so i think i should first of all adjust this here to be some kind of brownish okay let's see let's see this color okay color like this right so I'm here to work on this lady's picture, either to blend or to just be sharp. But I think the way I've edited a hue, like this particular background here, this lady's picture already looks like it's it's blending with it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to sharpen it, right? If not, I would have done a lot of things to edit it. Now these are presets, already made presets, just in case I want to use the same editing I used initially on this design or some other design I used before. I will just have to select them, right? So this is my mom's better picture. I see like this, this um, church stick I did for one of the uh, OAS and some other stuff like that. But I don't want any presets. I want to edit it myself. We don't need cropping, masking. You need to pay healing. You need to pay. We don't need both. So click on edit and then let's just click on effects. Increase the texture to let's say 21. Clarity. Let's just leave the clarity. Click on the here, increase it. Let's say 20 something. Click and hold before. This after. Before. This is after. Let's go to light and increase the highlight a little. It looks kind of dark. And then the the whites. See 40 there. Let's the blacks. Is it 30? Before, after, before, after. So let's see what we have here. I think, I think this is okay. So 
let's click on details again and sharpen it more so this is a um, 50 before after and most times when you are done you, you first of all save it as presets just in case you want to apply the same editing on another picture or let's say you lost this picture you are bringing it again you don't have to straight you don't you don't want to stress yourself passing through all this process again you just have to click on that preset and it automatically apply so let's click on these three dots first of all save as preset let's see skin care skin care picture right save then now click on that to save as an image good now let's go to photo room where we're going to remove the background this photo room and you click on start from photo and this uh, um this is the image most recent so let's click on it that's from lightroom wait one two and this the background is being removed the next thing click on transparent here because of course we don't want it to be with background and then the next thing why is it delaying the next thing is that we're going to pinch and drag because of this watermark we don't we want to delete it but it, this deleting needs to be you need to pay before you delete the watermark you see but uh, yeah, assuming we don't have money now so we'll pinch this image like this sorry reduce the size drag it up so that when you import it into pixel lab you can just easily crop out this watermark right so now it's moved away from the watermark now you can save click on that icon at the top and then click on save to gallery it has been saved so let's now go back to our PC lab to import it and proceed with our design so i think i should off my data now why am i always off in data is it because i don't want my data to waste no most times if you are using pixel lab and your data is on your project will get scattered but mind you this for some kind of um should i say phones yeah because for my previous phone i don't have this issue anytime or anyhow i do when i'm designing my projects will not get scattered but when i got this other phone if i don't click on the back button before the keyboard the, the, um, that appears before i click on my check mark or okay there's every tendency that my project is going to get scattered or if my data is on so i i study why it happens like that so i have to adjust now let's import click on your plus on the top left and click on from gallery so these are image from lightroom that has, the background has been removed it's showing black meaning it has been removed so this is it crop out the photo room icon or logo or watermark click on your check mark good so increase the size to this and keep it right there so what name are we going to give to this our skincare product uh let's see uh stainless is that the right word let's see smooth and hi okay 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 okay, okay, okay. let's see flawless let's bring the word flawless down first and um, okay 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 like i said i have a lot of things in mind right away so what's the name of a uh, uh, cream let's see flawless for flawless cream I just assume that's the name. So um the next thing we are gonna do is that let's just drop keep dropping things. Most times when I begin this, I just keep dropping, 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 dropping uh stuff. So let's let's go into the shape. I'm thinking of something. Let me edit and see. I hope you guys are taking note of how I'm editing this uh, shape. If some person still just use this node here. Dark. No, that's unprofessional. If you want to edit this, click on this edit here and edit it like this. That's how to that's how to edit shapes. So how about something like this? Click on your check mark. Of course, you should be behind this photo. Okay, and then um, let me move it up, 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 up. Move this up, move this up, and um, let me still copy it. I did this particular one, 
bring it this way click on your check mark bring it downwards like this don't worry just just follow me okay so click on to back something like like this and then I think it's time to get fonts now. Let's go get fonts. There are a lot of fonts here that are not that are not the default fonts, right? So you download and install them. I have a video on my YouTube channel about how to download and install fonts. So just in case you don't know, you can check the video. So Aurora is a kind of font that I think suits this kind of designs. Or this disc cake or dish sec rather any name. So um the color now I think I think we should go for brown. Let's go find brown color. This brown, right? Okay. So this is this is brown. And then let's most times what I do after selecting this bar, let me just copy since I want the same stuff. So when I copy, I'll just change the flowerless to cream. Flowerless uh, is what about flowerless um, uh, cosmetics? Hi, I'm thinking of something. Don't worry. I'm just assuming any name. Flowerless cosmetics. So um, let's let's just begin to type in some stuff now. So let's find something like this. Um, the first thing should be what it does um, to free your skin from rashes. Let's so for the next, let's see. To soften your skin. The number three should be to keep your skin most moisture moisturized. And then number four to make your skin glow. To make your skin glow, um, I'm thinking of what to to other things to write on this our cream design. So let's just keep thinking of um what to what to add other things to add right here to make your skin glow and um, okay, let's see to add to the freshness of your skin or to make your skin to make your skin your skin fresh so okay i think we have a couple of things here already so uh, let's click on click on back click on okay bring this down like this Trying to reduce the size by dragging on the skin, on the screen rather. So how about we just reduce the size to, to this, right? Now there's a font I want to go and select. It's called Rene fonts. Rene. I love using that for tiny it's for text writers. So I've selected the Rene fonts. Let's reduce the size to twenty eight. Okay. Not twenty eight. Yes, see twenty. Let's get. Let's ensure this is a pure black color. Okay. So these are these are size, right? So um, this time around, let's go get ingredients now. Let's go get um, ingredients. But before then, let's do this. I'm just trying to fill this 
this space is just to see a picture of what I'm looking for. Right. So, 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 so. Okay, something just came to my mind. Let me bring this to front. Let me reduce the height. Now, why am I reducing the height? Because I want to create more space around this base. And I want to put some some screens there around this place to f to help illustrate um my design or add to the beauty of it so 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 that's it so now this for ingredients i have to edit it erase this stuff let's say the ionized water the the ionized the ionized water this is sulfate sulfate um, lano lanolin let's say glyco let's say ether ether sulfate I think this should be ether sulfate. Watch again, fragrance. Um, mineral oil. Mineral oil. Uh, propyl. Propyl. Para. Paraben, propyl paraben, methyl paraben. Let's put full stop there. Okay, I think there should be and since it's the last um, thing I'm listing. So let's fold this fold, 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 fold. I think something like this should be okay. Hmm? So uh, the next thing we want to do is this type. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what to say. What to expect? Don't worry. When your client is giving you this, he's going to tell you um, the exact things to put there. Now this text bar. I want to give this a text bar. And let's say black color. Or a brown or this color which of the let's try this first let's go give it a font uh, I think there's a font I, I like using for this kind of text legs are heavy if it's not okay I'm gonna change it give the color white this particular color that looks like black like the text color and that background doesn't match so let's use white let's reduce the size to what we want before we begin to adjust the text background so this is what we have, right? That's our what to expect. Then let's edit this. Let's increase the left padding to 10, right padding. Okay, left padding to 10, right padding to 10. Top padding to 3, bottom padding to 3. Good. So let's copy this since we want the same thing. Bring it down here. Let's see ingredients. Ingredients. Good. So, so what are we still adding here? Let me edit this. I think I should increase the height. Sorry. Let it be here. So let's see. Let's copy this and save for inquiries. Remember, this is a fictional flyer, right? So most everything here is fiction. For inquiries, and inquiries. Good. 
to me. I think I should reduce the size this time around, okay? So, let's see. www dot flawless cosmetics dot com or kindly contact zero seven zero four nine three seven two six eight nine Oh, three seven zero three nine nine eight seven seven four. That's my two numbers. Okay, so let's reduce the size. Okay. Okay, so flawless, flawless. Let's increase the size of the flawless so it be that we are kind of emphasizing it. Say 85. And I think it should be here. Bring down this cosmetics. Okay, so what next? Okay, I said I was going to uh, bring some stuff here, right? But before then, let me do this. Let me bring, click on ship, go down, click on gradients, click on your plus sign. This is the, uh, the, the handle for the top color, the base color. So the handle for the base, the top color here, ensure it's at the edge like this. Click on this color tool now. And at three bars, this is the transparent bar. Click, drag this to the transparent bar to this list, then click on OK, click on OK. Click on your check mark. So let's now go select the color. Um, how about pure white? Let's see. Now by me this time adjusting it wrongly. I found the wrong place. Adjustment should be from that I did too, right? So I think this also looks nice. But for now, let's go get our what's it called? Our our creams right so let's go to pinterest mind you i said almost everything i i want i've already imagined it cosmetics sorry my data is off so this cosmetics and um, Okay, so let's see. Uh, me, I'm looking for cream, different kind of creams. I'm not okay. I think cosmetic means makeup. How about I check? Um, body cream, body cream. okay okay you know what good i just have an i just had an idea so let's just download them okay I downloaded that okay we download this Let's assume this our company is a company that sells, that deals in selling all these products. So, so let's see. Let's keep downloading, don't worry. Okay. See this <clears throat> I 
Okay, so and are these enough? Mm, I mean, have we haven't gotten safe. So I think these are enough. Let's go re remove their backgrounds now. Let me save as project first, please. Most times when I've gone for, I save as project just in case it wants to get scattered since I've been owning and offering my data. Don't mind these people. It's because I own data. I want to be bringing up ads for me on Pixel Lab. So let's go to photo room and remove the program. Sorry. So okay let's begin with um i mm, don't want to waste so much time here let's i might not remove the program of all of them but good so <clears throat> transparent again one of the benefit of me repeating things is that just in case you really understand it when i did the first time you should understand the second time save to gallery we can start from photo. Let's remove this now. <clears throat> Make them transparent. Pinch, drag upwards, click on the share icon. Save the gallery. Okay. Um, start from photo. Click on this. Click on transparent. Save to gallery. Okay, watch out there. Let me just do this. Click on transparent. <coughs> Pinch like this. Save the gallery. Oh, yes, there this. Just one I've tried. <clears throat> mm, <okay>. Good. <sighs> so, this is my data. Let's go back to Pizza. To import multiple images, make sure you start you, you import it from here. Cause we don't have time. If we start from here, we'll be importing it one by one. So let's click here, then click the number of time, number of images we want to import on this import here. So since we have like I think six, seven, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So this okay, this six we won't have yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Six of them automatically imported. So let's begin cropping out the photo icon. Ah, I didn't crop this one. I didn't push it up. That so I should reduce the size. Let's bring it here. Let me bring this one first. Prop them. Prop it so that. You can easily handle them on your design because if you allow the crop the space between them be to be too wide too wide 
to 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 select and move them might be difficult so this now let's crop it too and this as well okay okay so front then this to front okay i'm thinking of here to place this is it at the front here or at the top let me have space here first place Okay, let's move this out to the season two. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's push out these two first. Okay. No, two back. Mm -mm -mm. Let me bring it up. Bring her picture up again. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let me reduce the size of this again. Ah, but I reduce the size of this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I was thinking of something about um, flawless cosmetics. I'm coming, I'm coming. How about we change all this? Um, So the things they sell let me copy this just in case i'll come back i might need it again body cream body lotion vaseline body oil okay. body oil perfumes Powder, um, eye pencil, eye pencil, foundation. Okay, what was that stuff? In? Foundation. Um, what would it? mascara? Mascara. Um, um, order cause. Order quality cosmetics. So. so we are assuming that um, 
There are a company that sells different kind of skin products. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see for all your. Or let's see home of cosmetics. Okay, so this time around, I think this text should be black color. Let's now give you that same font called. Um, Okay, so let me still reduce the size. So this will be yeah. Let me do this before I forget. There's an effect I usually do with shape on text that makes the text kind of glow. I'm gonna do that now. So click on your plus and click on shape. Click on this arrow to select the particular shape. This is the shape I usually use. So select it, go down to gradient, the plus sign. This time is the base color one to reduce the gradient and the color to zero. So click on that color, transparent bar to zero. Click on OK. Click on OK this way. So now we'll do this. I'm gonna go give this stuff a color that's gonna be the same as the color of this background. All right, so this is what we'll do. How can we get that when we have not saved that design? Most times, instead of going to save first so that I can import it to be able to select this color since I don't know the color code, I just screenshot it like this. Sorry, just screenshot and then import the screenshots quickly. Good, just push it out of the slide. Select it, go to color, enable color, click on your plus sign. This is for selecting color. So find that in place. Uh, what's it called? Screenshot. This is right, select it. Then drag and find the color under it. Okay, I told you that that shape should have a color the same as the color below the text. So this is showing here that I selected. So click on your check, click on OK. Good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to reduce the opacity to say 40. Let me bend this this way. So I'm going to copy it and place it this time on the cosmetics. Right, so you realize that from a distance, it kind of glow. In fact, you might not really appreciate it on this <coughs> color combination, but if it's on some of that, I tell you the truth, you would really, really <coughs> appreciate it. Now, something else I notice I need to correct quickly. Now, if you check this lady's edge, it's not good. People's picture are just like that, sharp at the edge. So you see that you do these two things, or you just do the second one. I'm going to show you alone. It's still going to be okay, but let me do this first. Use your blood too. Make her edges blow a little. Okay, so you check mark. Then this shape, since it couldn't cover it that time properly, how about we we'll, we'll copy it? But before you copy, center align it, center align it. Yes, let me also bring it to front. Then copy it, then center align it like this, and then centralize it. The reason why I'm doing this is that so that when we imagine it, it will be perfectly as be, uh, appear as a single image, but with more um let's see color saturation so that I can cover this edge. Because if I didn't center align it, I just left it here. Then I left the other here, I match them. They're not gonna be perfectly on top of each other. So and, and that won't look nice. That's why I had to center align it, centralize it too. And they did the same for the second the one I copied. Click here, click here to cop to merge. Click on this merge icon, click on OK. And click on this. Let's bring it down. See now. Have we succeeded in covering it? Nope, 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 nope. So let's do it for the last time. If it doesn't, no problem. We'll manage it like that. Okay, so. Good. So what we should do now is let's first of all center line this. And this one, move it down. Little, then this white shape, of course, it shouldn't be at the top like that.
good so okay so this text here need to come up so what i'll do is that i'll go select them no not that one the ww dot where is it okay to front and the front queries where is it to front good something like this right so since we are not doing so much let's just align everything click on your grid tool click here let's drag use one as our standard our starting point so this is where we are right so everything is going to start from this point let's begin with this shape little little there then this house of cosmetics or home of cosmetics the same as this flowers then the same as this um, what's it called that shape effect and this cosmetics as well okay then the shape following it as well okay like that sorry not this other one is good so the next thing now let me see align all this um what to expect ingredient and the rest but before then let me align the text the text is around there so let's say everything is beginning from here. So let's begin with this. All right, so good. Then this good. So uh, the text have been aligned and let's begin. Let's go to this um this uh, ingredients for inquiries and what to expect. So let's say they will begin from here. So let me begin with this what to expect move it move it move it good this ingredient okay then the front queries i think there it. okay okay so good good so so this one we are now <clears throat> so <clears throat> i think this okay let's just go and see if i work we are doing a simple fly right so click on save as project first now let me say this the principles of graphic design have been applied here repetition this color was repeated here 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 this brown was repeated here and here black here black here repetition alignment was achieved right and then what again in fact i don't realize something most times the text is around here but it's fine if you move them a little bit from the edge even though you want to achieve uh, left alignment so let's move this flawless one two oh let's see one should be it's cosmetics one this form of cosmetics one i think it's better this way and also this form of cosmetics i can decide to copy this again and do the same here good yeah so still looking okay 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 i just realized something these uh shapes they should they should be at this left more as in they should be more at the left than the text is here so this is what i'll do just count the number of times i'll move them one two three one two okay one two here two two good good so i think it's better <clears throat> so i think we are good now just a simple flyer click save as project any name at all do save as image make sure you click here save as ultra then click to gallery <clears throat> that will go to what's it called lightroom again this is not easy to design a very excellent flyer the process is uh, it's not too simple yeah so Let's go find it. This lab here we are. Good. So this is select it. Click on edit. So we do a touching with uh, uh, color first. 
gonna redo. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let's just leave this one first. Note. Let's select these midterms, right? Don't worry, let's click on done. And let's go to effects, increase the texture. Do, do we even need it to? Texture 10. Details, let's sharpen. So let's say 40. Okay, so this still looks nice. So how about we now go ahead and and um, is there a need to add saturation here? Okay, how about we add our vibrance? Okay, so we are good to go, right? We are taking it to the next app. Click on your three dots, click on Wireless Cosmetics. Click on Save. Save copy to device. Now, this is a kind of a bonus because this design is supposed to be a course where I sell, but I'm thinking of dropping it on my YouTube channel. So let's go to Lens Flare now. Click on Select Image. So these are uh, uh, Lightroom stuff, right? So let's go add the Lens Flare. And increase the size. Okay, so go to color now. Then, I think that's okay. Let's go reduce the opacity now. Let's do opacity was too much then. Good. So click on this again. Let's see if we can duplicate it. And place one around um, here. Then reduce the PCT more. Click on this again, click on it again, duplicate it. This time around, let's bring it here. This time around, I think this time around we should increase the PCT a little more. Good. So what next? What next? What next? What next? Okay, okay. Let's go find a fresh new um, lens flare. Just imagine how beautiful this flyer is. This now. Um, do I need any complex lens flare here? I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's say this and this. Okay. Mm. Now what's let's go change the color. So this. Okay, let's see. This, this, this. Let me increase the size first. I'm finding a color that's the same as same. Something like this, so good. 
Wow, it's really, really beautiful. I think the next thing now should be to to save it. What else? I might still come back here to edit it. Let's save the image. Good. So let's go see what we have now on lens flare. Lens flare. Sorry, these are all photos. Just lens flare is what I'm looking for. Good. Wow. This is super beautiful. So how about we go shopping with lastly with a snapseed before we see. So snapseed, snapseed, snapseed. Tap on it and um this is it right there. Click on tools, click on this. Let's sharpen it to nine. So that's nine. Let's now turn image go collect go select contrast. Use the contrast to eight. Increase the ambiance to five. Increase the highlights to nine. There we go. Let's save now and see what we have. So export and save. Okay, this is what we have. But I just realized um, a very big mistake. Let's go see a snap. I can decide to even end this video now because this is a fictional flyer. It's on the details, but I'll still correct it. Where's my my seed wow this beautiful you see but i'll still correct it i'll still correct it it's about some of these things what to expect it doesn't what's showing here doesn't correspond with it and then the ingredients so let me rush and go and do some corrections there back to pixel don't worry lightroom i've already seen the preset the only thing i'm going to work on is this um, what's it called pixel, uh, lens flare so let's see what to expect. Let's see what are products. What are, what are products? What to expect? Okay. What to, what do you to expect? I'm just going to You know what? Let me begin with this. Some of what should I say? Our products. Okay, our products. And then um, what else? Okay, let's see. Let's see cosmetics that cosmetics that help to free okay how about I will bring this down a little see cosmetics that help then to free your skin from rashes, blah 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 blah. blah. I think it's okay like this. It's not safe as well. I think this is how you save it way. Flawless. Let me still see if we can have some ultra. So let's go to Lightroom and just go select the presets. This piece of right to do it. So 
to click on this what is it called again flawless so on the scale of f good save it save copy so right now let's go to lens flare now let's go to lens flare okay this is how the former one was right i kept one here one here one here and that's curved one there right so let's leave here let's leave here okay select image add the light one this is right here so select this bring it here okay i think we adjusted the color a little click on it again click on it again uh, let's go reduce this the opacity reduce the opacity to this and let's see copy it that's the duplicate place one here this time let's reduce the opacity let's reduce the opacity good okay click on this click on this let's copy this duplicate bring the other one and place it here but i think this time we should increase the opacity no that's too much something like this okay <clears throat> so what else are we looking at i think i said we should get that time we'll go to another entirely different um so uh, so which of them did we even use i think it was this now is it not this or which of them which of them, which of them? okay let's see i think it was was it like this it was this good so let's select a color again for this thing something like this should be okay i think we are good let's see save if there's any other thing to touch we'll still come back here now let's go to snapseed but before then let's see our lens flare pro um, results lens flare good this is the former one and this is the current one at this stuff here come in let me do a little editing how about i move this this come in. something like this let's save it now let's see okay so mind you this is a fictional flyer let's go to snapseed this time around so these are most recent the first tools Sharpen it to let's say 10. This tune image increase the contrast to 37. Move down to let's say 10. Highlight, and let's say 10. We are good. Save, copy. So let's go see the final results of Snapseed. So 
Vamos a ir. So this is what we have. Thank you so much for watching. You watched. I am very sure you you learned a whole lot of stuff. I think there's more than enough reason why you need to subscribe to this channel and share this video. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, please and please subscribe, share, comment. Some of you don't comment, some of you don't share, come on, some of you don't even like the video. Sometimes a video of 200 and something views, and then the like is just seven. Like, don't only like, comment, share too, and um, click on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. I celebrate you. See you in the next video.